What's up everyone, Xscouts2001 here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to read your serial number so you get to know exactly the year, the month, and as well the country that it is made for specifically. So I'll go straight into it and I'll explain the whole details of everything during this whole video. But let's get to it. Right, so with this one we've got the model GX1600. I got this off eBay for about 20 quid. So with this in mind, it's an absolute steal. And that includes the cab as well that came with a 4x12 cab. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at this 10 digit number, your serial number. So you have your 10 digit and I would suggest you get a piece of paper and a pen and write this down. And of course I'll leave in this video the the whole layout of everything that's the year the month and everything else and other information about it so what we're going to do is the through this code you see that i have the first three digits is just your for the model itself your fourth digit is your country your fifth digit is the year your sixth digit is the month and then the last four digit of the numbers is your model number so with this in mind the first three are usually irrelevant so you can skip the first three the fourth digit is the country so this one being labeled as Y so you yours might be different so you have either a letter U which is for UK Y is for Europe W is worldwide and D is domestic or USA and then E means pretty much everything really so we so now you get yourself you know what country it's from then we go to the year which is your fifth digit now the year with the information I have goes from 1988 all the way up to 2005 and the, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a quite a grey area, so from 1987 beforehand, I don't think there were that many serial numbers, and I think they didn't make very many few amps, and through, uh, what do you call it, like a bankruptcy uh, for MTI. With this one, we've now got country, which is Europe, so the letter E is 1992 so what I'm saying is from 1988 that's your first letter of the alphabet so A is 88 B is 89 C is 1990 D is 91 and then E is 1992 and then you go forward so if you had a different number you could have literally the same thing but that letter you could easily have the same thing but that E instead would be a J so that would be 1997 so you get the idea so the other one your sixth digit which is the number two which I have now the number two is your month which is again in a certain order from one to ten is January to October so this is a February this was made in February and obviously for November and December they use the letter A or B a was for November and B was for December. That's what they use instead. So I'm not 100% sure why. I think they tried to keep everything as a 10 digit code. So they added the two first of the alphabets for the last two months of November, December. And of course the model number 000, number eight. So this amplifier was made in February, 1992, serial number eight. Now, of course, obviously, they're all different, as you probably were aware from my previous video with the Crate GX130C, and did my research on that one, and obviously you'll see it in the previous video, it tells you the date, the year, and the month, and the model number being the one that I have is serial number one, August 1992. Quite a rare piece, to be quite honest. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna then go lower, and look at the next serial number on the crate cab. Right, so with the cab, you will see with this number E5S EE20068. So let's do the research on this one. So the 
first three of the three letters are usually irrelevant. So we go for the next one, which is the, your country, which is E, or pretty much is everything. So this amplifier can be used pretty much anywhere, whether it's the United States, UK, Europe, worldwide, doesn't matter. So the next part is the year. So we have another E, so it matches with this particular amplifier, 1992. Then the, uh, the month, the sixth digit code, number two, again, is February. And then, of course, the matching number on this one is a 0068. So this is a Model 68 made in February 1992. So I hope this has been um, helpful for you people today. And um, if you're not sure about the uh, your serial number or anything like that, just leave a comment down below. And I will respond to you as quick as I can. So then you'll get to know as well. I'll leave at the end of this video a layout of everything for you, the years, the months and everything. It'll be all explained at the end of this video as well. And of course there is also a, a forum um, on a uh, Facebook called uh, Crate SLM. I call it the Crate Family and it's a place for anybody who owns a Crate amplifier of all sorts, doesn't matter if it's a GX15 or a Stealth or even something like this as well or a GX130C. So and it's all about just showing what you use for your rigs and everything else as well. So uh, go join it. It's well worth it as well. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Like and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell for the, uh, for the next upcoming video, which will be coming very soon. So until then, take care for now.